it's hard for me to say you Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. I just, first thing first, I want to apologize for the bad lighting in here. It's currently probably about to be 4 or 5 p.m. and I barely now get to film this part of the video. So it's getting dark outside already. It's a cold day. I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Also, sorry for the angles and everything. I'm using my camera and I think I messed up the settings. Um, I don't know how to fix it. I have to watch some YouTube videos and see what I can do about that. And I do not have a tripod, so I'm literally dying holding the camera with my hand because it's super high up. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be showing you guys a few things that I'm doing. Um, prepping for a baby girl. She is coming February 26th, God willing. That's my due date. So it's currently January 30th and she'll be here in no time for some reason i have an odd feeling that she's gonna get here early something my body's telling me and my mind is telling me so we'll see what happens but it's just a feeling that i have so i've been really in nesting mode and trying to get everything ready i want to say we're probably 80 percent ready for her we do not have everything her nursery it's not done but that's okay because she's gonna sleep here in the bedroom with us for first couple months. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I do have so far and the future plans for when she is here. So I'm gonna show you guys my bump update and then we'll get right into the video. So I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant and this is how the bump is looking. Sorry if y'all see the toilet on the back. Um, my belly is actually not that big, being that it's my first baby, but I'm happy. I'm in love with my belly. And then believe it or not, I do feel a lot of pressure. I've been really uncomfortable, but that's normal when, this, when you're this far out in pregnancy, I guess. So that is baby girl. I know it's super dark in here, but I'll make it work. So this is our bedroom. When you come in, this is our bed. This is my favorite thing I got at the baby shower. It's the little vest in it. It's called Baby Delight, and it is from Amazon. Um, we already put the mattress, the little um, sheets. And I just added a cute pillow and blanket. I know she's not gonna wear that, but it matched with the theme. It's all pink, I love it. We have it on my side of the bed. We do not have nightstands yet. For those that don't know, um, we moved in this house probably like seven, eight months ago. So we're still in the process of getting furniture. Um, to make up for that, I did put a little table to use as a nightstand and I actually need a find a lamp like i was saying um that little table it's serving as a nightstand for now i do need to find a lamp that i can put in there that way when she wakes up in the middle of the night i don't have to turn on the light for the whole room i don't have to wake up my husband or stimulate over stimulate the baby with the light so i definitely need to find a lamp i'm probably gonna find one on amazon and this just comes in handy to keep my phone, my water bottle, everything that I need. And then the little vest in it, I think it's fine there. Or you can like push it towards the bed. That way you can like easily wreck the baby to make her go back to sleep faster. But I, right now I struggle so much getting up from bed. So I'm like if that thing is stuck to my bed, it's just... It's gonna be a whole mess so i think against the wall it's fine for now recently got the stressor from ikea um i'll make sure to link all those little things that we have on the on my bio just in case you guys are interested on it um we recently got the stressor so i'm gonna use the top first um drawers to put baskets and organize little onesies and baby clothes that's what we previously had as the tv stand but we changed it for that 
I was gonna put that somewhere else, but I decided to keep it because my husband said it would come in handy to put extra baby stuff. So actually, I got this basket with a whole bunch of goodies at the baby shower. It's actually heavy. But I was thinking that this would be better here. So far, what I have in here, it's like easy access stuff that I can get up in the middle of the night. I have some wipes. Honest, I'm in love with this brand. I have not used this for the baby yet, but I've heard and read so many good reviews. So I have the Honest wipes. We have tiny little diapers, newborn size. We have a few. I have binkies that I gotta take out of here and wash. I have my Hakka. We have some free samples that I got from Target. This is a diaper rush lotion. I also have this one. I don't know how to pronounce the brand. We have little pacifier clips, a boogie section thing. We have some cloth and just little things that we might need. And what is this? Shampoo and body wash. This probably don't need to be here. But either way, this is a basket with things to access in the middle of the night when I need to do diaper changes and stuff. And like I said, I'm going to use the top drawers to put um, her clothes and extra diapers and wipes and everything in there. So that is it that we have in the room. Let me know if there's anything else that I'm missing. Um, like I said, I still need a lamp and we have a humidifier on the way, which is probably going to be over there or there's plugs everywhere in this room. So I'm going to sit it somewhere. I just wanted to touch base on something that has been helping me um, keep this baby brain alive and remembering things really good and it's been actually following like a schedule and keeping track of things I need to do or like just important things. I've always been a pen to paper type of person but I recently found this template so let me flip the camera so I can show you. I recently found this template and they're called templates by me by Milena Siciotti. If you do not follow her or watch her YouTube videos, um, y'all should definitely do that. But um, I actually purchased them. They're really affordable. I laminated them and this is what's been helping me keep everything on track. Like for today, what I need to do is install the car seat, clean the car, go buy animal food, finish the hospital bag and all this. It also has daily truth, grocery list, and you have everything by categories. This week's meals, things to buy. You have a schedule for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Friday. And you also have them in different colors. This is the dulce de leche color. You have like an actual calendar that you can do monthly and then it's super easy to erase. You just put it under the sink, you rinse it with some water. But speaking of car seat and all that, which is not so long ago, probably last week, went ahead and got our diaper bag and the stroller. This is the stroller that we went with. It's from Walmart. It was not my option. My husband picked it out. It's the one that he was obsessing with because of the wheels. <laughs> Typical guy stuff. But I like it because it's neutral. So if in the future we have a boy, we can definitely use this. And today I really want to get the car seat already installed in the car because you never know when baby girl's gonna arrive and i just want to make sure that we're ready for her this is a car seat the stroller super roomy and comfy i love it and then i got this diaper bag from walmart which is actually i'm almost done preparing it i literally put everything in here for baby girl the only thing i'm missing is diapers but we have the wipes on the side and then this other side, it's a little to keep bottles, snacks, whatever it might be. But um, definitely let me know if you guys would be interested on a video, what's on my hospital and diaper bag. 
and I can go more in detail on since it's my first baby I'm still learning I'm sure there's things I'm missing or overpacked that I won't use but I can definitely do a video showing what I have in there it's been a couple days since the last time I updated you guys. I thought that it would be perfect to close out this blog and um, show you last minute things that I just got. I actually just got in the mail my Motive Luna breast, ooh, breast bump. So this is the breast pump that I got in the mail. It's the Motive Luna if I'm pronouncing it right electric and it has it's double sided so I'm pretty excited for that that's something good that happened today also um, I just came home from work and I had a surprise baby shower so let me show you really quick an overview of all the things I got I'm actually so excited and grateful for every single person that bought something for me and for baby girl sorry for the light once again I have all the windows open but it's still really dark in here this is everything that I got at work my surprise baby show like I said I feel so grateful for every single person that made that possible and that bought me something I'm so excited to go through everything and organize it I also went ahead and bought the lamp that I wanted for the side table. That is clearly not the right bulb, but that's okay. I will be buying a new one. It's not white light, it's yellow, but I like it because it's not like bright in your eyes when you turn it on in the middle of the night. It makes the room feel really cozy at night. So that's one last thing that I gotta do. The car seat it's finally installed on the car. I struggle a little bit to put it together, but I will show you guys hopefully on my next blog. Um, let me know what other blogs you guys would like to see. I can definitely do um, what's in my hospital bag for labor and delivery. I can do a nursery reveal, whatever you guys want, just let me know down in the comments and I will be filming that for you guys um, if you made it this far I hope this video is not too long but if you made it this far um, go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel that way you guys can keep up when baby girl arrives I'm gonna end up and end this vlog right here because I'm so out of breath I need to go drink some water thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video Thank you.